Mobileye. Top 10 Desirable Dual Sport Motorcycles to Buy The name Dual Sport Motorcycles comes from their ability to perform equally well on the road or off. They need to be street legal, so they're equipped with lights, turn signals, and number plate mounts. As such, small capacity dual sport examples make a great first motorcycle. Riders starting out can appreciate the lightweight, no frills design, and their ability to deal with any surface with equanimity. 10. CSC TT 250 Dual Sport Price $2,495 CSC is the U.S. distributor for Zongshan, a Chinese motorcycle manufacturer. Its CS Siri branded motorcycles are assembled in California and shipped to wherever you please in the continental United States. This, the TT250 Dual Sport, is their smallest dual sport offering, and it makes a great first motorcycle simply because of the value it offers. The TT250 Dual Sport has inverted front forks with adjustable damping. Its brakes are discs at both ends, and they are connected by stainless steel braided lines. It has a massive for the displacement 300W alternator and a built-in switch for the electrical accessories you'll inevitably mount. Finally, CSC offers a factory warranty of one year as standard, just like all the other models here. Speaking of which, although the listed price is nearly $2,500, the company's website frequently lists sales, and you can have a TT250 Dual Sport for less than $2,000 new. 9. Honda XR150L Price $3,099 The Honda XR150LS brief is simple, be a great beginner motorcycle. It does that handily, and it isn't difficult to understand why. It is suspiciously similar to the Honda NXR150, a motorcycle that has been knocking about for around two decades in South American and Southeast Asian markets. The engine is manufactured by Chinese giant Sundairo to keep costs down, but it has been on sale guaranteed that it will be reliable with incredibly low living costs. There are a few nits to pick with the XR150L, like the peak power arriving really high up in the revs, and that the rear brake is a drum brake. But it is all the beginner motorcycle you could possibly need, there's no doubting that. 8. SSRXF 250 Dual Sport Price $3,459 SSR is the only other Chinese company on this list. It has been manufacturing motorcycles for over two decades now and is part of the growing number of Chinese manufacturers with some quality motorcycles. The XF250 Dual Sport is a simple, back-to-basics motorcycle that offers compression adjustment for its inverted front forks. It also chooses a non-standard 18-17-inch rim size combination. This bike has one of the stranger engines we've seen in the segment. SSR quotes the rated power of 14.1 horsepower at 7,000 RPM but the actual peak power in the owner's manual is 15.4 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. However, maximum torque occurs higher in the rev range than both these figures, at 8,500 RPM. Like the Honda above, you'll really have to wring its neck to extract performance out of it. 7. Kawasaki KLX 230 Price $4,999 The KLX 230 takes the KLX 250's recipe and makes it more accessible to beginners. This is the most affordable motorcycle here with a perimeter frame, and it has proper off-road rim sizes of 21 18 inches front slash rear. The front suspension comprises non-adjustable conventional forks, but they are made by Showa to ensure quality. ABS is a $300 option on the KLX 230, which can be switched off for off-road duty. Should you opt for the non-ABS KLX 230, you get a 245mm front disc brake, and that size increases to 265mm if you splurge on the ABS. The rear disc size stays the same regardless of ABS. 
There is one area where the KLX230 shows its young age, it was launched as a new model in 2019 the Kawasaki Radiology app connects to the bike via Bluetooth to show you a host of options and parameters. 6. Yamaha TW200 Price, $4,999 any article with cheap or affordable and dual sport in the brief will have the Yamaha TW200 in it. It is, to quote Thanos, inevitable. The Trailway 200 has been puttering around since 1987, and it hasn't changed in the intervening decades. It is slow, it is small, and weirdly, it is fun, as long as you have a little patience. This will get you to where you want to go and back home even if where you want to go is the North Pole. There's nothing we can say that we haven't already said before about this little machine. So if you're interested in a motorcycle that can also be an heirloom, get yourself a TW200. Sure, it might seem a little overpriced in its company, but those machines won't be around for your children and your children's children to learn to ride on like the TW200 will. 5. Yamaha XT250, price, $5,399. The XT250 has also been knocking about since 1980, but with a hiatus from 1991 to 2008. It has been in its current avatar for over a decade now, when it was given fuel injection. The XT250 is a competent off-road machine and, just like the KLX230, its focus is more on being an all-rounder that will appeal to first-time riders rather than to be extremely good at one single thing. Where it differs from the KLX is that it has only a 5-speed gearbox, and ABS isn't even mentioned as an option. Still, it makes its case with the reliability of being a sales success over the years. 4. Honda CRF 300L Price, $5,449 the CRF 300L is the first of a trio of Honda Dual Sport models in this list. It is the most affordable of the three, but isn't exactly a beginner machine, both in terms of the price and the 34.7-inch seat height. This is the reason for the existence of the CRF 300LS, which we shall read about more in a bit. Back to the L, it has ABS as a $300 option, and it can be turned off while on the move which is great for when you're riding in different conditions. The engine is an up-to-date 286 cubic centimeters mill that has liquid cooling, fuel injection, and double overhead cams. It comes mated to a six-speed gearbox and gets a slip-assist clutch for aggressive downshifts. If you're confident that you're past the beginner stage of your riding and have an inseam of over 34 inches, this might just be the right choice for you. Three. Honda CRF 300 LS price $5,749. Squint and you'll notice that the CRF 300 LS costs $300 more than the capable CRF 300 L. And if you guessed that it is because ABS is a standard inclusion on the LS, you guessed right. Pat yourself on the back for a deduction worthy of Sherlock Holmes himself. The other big difference that the CRF 300 LS has is that the seat height is reduced to 32.7 inches with reduced suspension travel at both ends, down to 9.3 inches at the front and 9.0 inches at the rear compared to 10.2 inches for the higher CRF 300 L. Of course, this also reduces ground clearance by 1.6 inches over the CRF 300 L to 9.6 inches, but that is still plenty for most of you reading this. Visually, the only distinguishing feature is its availability in gray, while the CRF 300L is available in red. 2. Honda CRF 300L Rally Price, $6,199. Third in our trio of CRF 300LS, the CRF 300L Rally is the dual sport with an adventure touring bent of mind. It gets a few changes over the standard CRF 300L to make it more suited to touring, beginning with a large fuel tank, 1.3 gallons larger than the standard, bigger disc brake, 296 mm, 40 mm larger diameter, a slightly higher and wider seat, 34.8 inches to the CRF 300LS 34.6 inches, 
rubber inserts for the foot pegs, and extra bodywork, skid plate and windscreen. Better long-distance comfort is also promised, thanks to the slightly rearward-placed foot pegs, the rubber inserts in them, and the different handlebar with bar end weights that help reduce vibrations. On the negative side, there is slightly less ground clearance at 10.8 inches, and it is 20 pounds heavier than the CRF300L. The black chassis and engine really do make it look modern, though, especially compared to the silver CRF300L components. Although it is positioned as an adventure tour, it remains more of a long-distance dual sport as is. 1. Kawasaki KLX300 Price, $6,199 The Kawasaki KLX300 competes directly with the Honda CRF300L, but costs a whole $750 more. Most of that can be explained by the suspension. Where the Honda gets bare basic components, Team Green has chosen to equip the KLX300 with inverted front cartridge forks with a 16-way compression damping adjustment. The rear has a monoshock with a nitrogen remote reservoir, also with 16-way compression and rebound adjustment, and preload adjustment in addition. For the beginner rider, the Honda's switchable ABS might be a better investment, for everyone else, the KLX300's better suspension will offer greater returns once set up correctly. It must be said that the KLX300 doesn't look as snazzy as the CRF300L, but you do get three color options, lime green, gray, and a very fetching matte camel gray that wouldn't look out of place in any post-apocalyptic movie. I hope to inspire you and help you learn more about your favorite theme. Subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think.